Hi, thanks for watching. This is my Killer Bunnies introductory tutorial video. When I first started playing Killer Bunnies, I thought the game was very fun and interesting, but a little complicated to learn. I looked around YouTube to see if there was any kind of tutorial video, and there wasn't, so I figured I'd go ahead and make one myself. Hopefully, this video will give you a basic overview of the game and the basic mechanics. It's by no means comprehensive. I definitely recommend reading the rules first before watching this. Not required, but it will give you a better uh, understanding of the type of things I'm going to talk about. Let's go ahead and get started. The basic objective of the game is to collect these cards here. Now these are called carrot cards. There's 12 of them in the standard game. They'll be just up on the table and you'll be able to select them if you meet certain circumstances. Now there are these smaller carrot cards. They match basically. There's 12 of these, there's 12 of these, and all the characters correspond. Now at the very top of the game this deck will be shuffled and set aside. Throughout the game, you will acquire these. So, you know, a few people will have some, a few other people will have this. You might be a really, you know, unfortunate player and only have one. And then, you know, the rest will be distributed like so. At the very end of the game, these carrots will be revealed. We typically like to be dramatic and reveal them one by one. And at the very bottom, you'll be revealed, oh, that's that. That's the winning carrot. There'll be a lot of screaming and punching, and then you'll look through your deck here and you'll say, you know, oh, looks like I'm the winner, and the person with one carrot obviously didn't win. So the more carrots you have, the better chances you, uh, you have at winning the game. Now there is one caveat to that. In order to actually win the game, you do have to have a bunny in play. Now we'll talk about what that means a little later, but if you don't have a bunny in play by the end of the game, you immediately forfeit your ability to win uh, the game, which is unfortunate. So have carrots, have as many of these as you can, and then have as many bunnies in, uh, in play as possible. Let's set these aside. Right off the bat, what you're going to do is you're going to deal seven cards to every player. Because I'm lonely and I don't have any friends to demonstrate this with me right now, we're just going to assume that I'm the only one playing, although there's no solitaire version of this game. So here are my seven cards. Wow, I've got one card of each type to illustrate how to play the game. How convenient. Right off the bat, you're going to save money. It's called Kabbalah Dalla. Uh, I have a friend that I tried to teach this game, and immediately when I told him there was a card named Kabbalah Dalla, he was out. He stopped playing immediately. So Kabbalah Dalla is uh, just the name of the currency. If you have any dealt to you in the first round, or your first hand, your initial hand, you set it aside immediately. We're just going to save some cards down here. Let's pull, pull the uh, draw pile in here. Immediately when you save a card, you're going to draw a replacement card. Okay, nice replacement card I have there. So now I look through my hand. Once all the money is set aside, if you had any more money, you'd set it all aside and draw the, the amount of cards back. You go through and there's one. This card is called Play Immediately. Now what this does is if you have a bunny in play, when you draw this, you immediately say, okay, I've drawn a play immediately. You play it on your own bunny, and then that bunny is destroyed, unfortunately. Don't want to get too advanced here, but if you don't have a bunny in play, this will be placed on any other bunny of your choosing. So hopefully, if you draw one of these, you don't have a bunny and you can play it on, you know, someone you don't like, like uh, like an in-law or, you know, an ex, you know, girlfriend. Why is she overplaying a card game with me? Let me play this on her. This will teach you to break up with me and leave me alone. So if you don't have a bunny and at the very beginning of the game, there are no bunnies in play anywhere. So you just put this aside into the discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got to draw back. Oh, what do you know? More money. More Kabbalah Dalla. Set that over to the side. I draw again to replace that. Okay, now I have a, a, a healthy mix of all the cards that I need. So once you have seven cards in your hand, all your money is set aside, any play immediately is set aside, you're ready to start playing the game. Every card in your hand should say run, special, or very special. I don't have a very special card here. Let's see if I have an example. Here's one very special. So they should say run special or very special in your hand. If you have anything else, it's going to be Kabbalah Dalla or play immediately. So you're going to want to get those out of your hands uh, right away. Let's talk really quickly about the pink boxes here. As you can see, some cards have pink boxes and some do not. Let's just compare these two. 
In order to play a card with a pink box, you have to have a bunny in play. We'll talk about how to get a bunny in play momentarily. Obviously, a bunny card will not have a pink box because you can play a bunny at any time. In a normal card game, you have your cards and you play them right from your hand and it goes around the circle. Well, in Killer Bunnies, it's a little more strategic than that. You play one card face down and then you play another card face down. So essentially you have a cue system here where your first move will be here, it'll go around, and your second move. So you plan two moves in advance. It adds a nice layer of strategy to the game. So you'll have two cards down at any given time, and you'll have five cards in your hands at any given time. Here's how you play. You flip the top card over. It's a bunny, okay? You slide the bottom card up. You draw back to your hand, so you have six in your hand and one card down, and then you choose another card to replace. So again, I flip, slide, I draw, replace. Flip, slide, draw, replace. That's how basically every turn is going to work. Five in my hand again, two down, and then of course I have my bunny still in play. Let's talk for a moment about weapon cards. Let me go through my hand here. I have a weapon card right here. So let's say that I had put that down as my second, uh, my second original card. So my first turn goes, I flip my bunny, I've done everything else, it's going around the circle, it's my turn again. It's time to flip, slide, draw, replace. I flip my top card, oh, I drop my top card on the floor, I lean out a mic, I pick my card back up off the floor. Oh, it's a weapon card, and it's a little hard to see, but it says level... Two weapon level two. So I can play this on any opponent's bunny that they have down. Obviously you wouldn't play it on yourself, um, but there's no one else here, so just for illustration purposes, let me put it on my own. There are dice that are included with the game, and you roll dice a lot of times in the game. You'll know which color to roll by these boxes. It says black, I roll black. Someone puts a weapon down, I roll the die. Level 2, that means I have to get higher than a 2. If I get a 2, I lose, so I have to get higher than a 2. This weapon's not very powerful on a 12-sided die, so let's go ahead and roll. Well, looks like I got a 10, so I've won. I discard this weapon to the discard pile, and I'm safe. Let's talk very quickly about run versus special cards. A run card is um, just a standard card. Special cards have a few special things going on with them. So, for example, if I have a run card, I'll flip it over. The only option here is to play the card, or I can discard it. Now, that's something I should mention. In Killer Bunnies, you're never under an obligation to play a card. If you flip a card over, you can always discard the card. I flip this weapon. You know what? I feel like being nice. I discard it. Typically, you wouldn't do that. You'd play it and be ruthless and take them down. At least that's how some of us play it. So I flip this guillotine over. It's a level 7. I can play it or I can discard it. However, I flip this card. It's a special card. Now, I, of course, I have the option to play it. I have the option to discard it. Or I have the option, if it's a special, to save it. Saving is very handy, especially, let's say I didn't have a bunny down. Let's say I had these two cards here. Flip. Oh, it has a pink box. Here's the pink box right here. I can't play this card. So normally I'd have to discard it if it was a run card, but guess what? It's a special. I can save it for later. And then if my next round comes and I flip a bunny, well, I flipped, I slide, I draw. But before I replace, I'm going to play this special card now. Another benefit of a special card. Let's say that I have a special in my hand right here. Instead of flipping the top card on my turn, I can just forego that entirely, and then I can play a special card directly from my hand. If it has a pink box, again, the same rules apply. I have to have a bunny in play, but I can play this directly from my hand. Now, I can't save it right from my hand. In order to save, it has to be run through. Bam, here it is. Now I can save it. But I can't save it directly from my hand. So I'm going to just go ahead and play that card, and then whatever the details on the card are, those would come into effect. Now there are special cards here, and there are very special cards here. They, run, they work the same way. 
I can put this through the queue and then once I flip it over, bam, here's very special. I could play it, I could discard it, or as usual, I can save it to the side. Now the only difference between a special and a very special is that a special can only be played on my turn. However, a very special can be played at any time in the game, on my turn, between my turns, or on another player's turn. Sometimes someone will play a weapon on another player and then you'll go, wait a second, no they can't. And then you'll have helped that player and maybe they'll owe you one. Now there is one more thing to a very special card. Not only can it be played at any time, but it doesn't have to be saved like a special card. A very special card can be played immediately from your hand at any time as well. There are also are cards called Feed the Bunny cards. Now these are similar to weapons in a way. They're a way to kill another bunny, but you don't roll dice. What you do is you flip over, let's say I have my two, two down and one, two, three, four, five in my hand, we're good. I'd flip over the Feed the Bunny, I'd play it on another player's bunny again, and then you look down here and it says four cabbage, four water. That means I need to have four cabbage and four water. Well, hold on a second. What are cabbage and water? At the beginning of the game, if you read the rules, you'll set up the Kabbalah's market. It says here, $3 for each cabbage card, $3 for each water card, and $10 for each carrot. We'll get to the carrots in a second, but when the market is open, over here to the side, there are water cards and there are cabbage cards that you'll have set up on the table in view at all times. Now I have $10 saved over here. Someone has just played a Feed the Bunny card, four cabbage, four water. That means I need to buy cabbage and water. So with my $10, I can buy, let's see, three cards total. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one water card. When you buy a water card, you immediately put it to the side and save it. I have the one water card. Okay, that's not enough. I'm gonna buy another one, five. So now I have six total, that's more than four. I have plenty of water to, to uh, feed my bunny, but I don't have enough cabbage yet, so I need to buy one cabbage card. Two. Two is not four, so I don't have enough, but I do still have this two dollars that I was dealt earlier, plus the one dollar left over from my ten, so I can buy one more cabbage card, and there we go, five cabbage uh, total, and I have more than enough to feed uh, water and cabbage to my bunny, this card gets discarded, and my bunny is uh, fed. So I would put these in a discard pile to the side. These are not um, shuffled back into the deck. These are just discarded. Now I do have leftover cabbage and water. What you'll do is you'll write on a piece of paper how much water and how much cabbage change you have. And then this is all gone. This also gets discarded. Quickly, I want to mention the difference between a weapon and a Feed the Bunny card. When someone plays a weapon on you, you immediately have to roll the die. Oh, I got a 1. That's great. Level 2, and you get a 1. That's really embarrassing, but it does happen. So my bunny would be dead. However, if someone were to play a Feed the Bunny card on you, this does not happen until the end of your turn. If you don't do anything, your bunny dies but only at the end of your turn does this take effect. So you have until your turn to use your money, buy cabbage and water, and then get it, and then feed your bunny. You don't have to do that immediately. Unlike a weapon card, a weapon card you have to immediately take care of that. The feed the bunny, again, only takes place by the end of your turn. I do want to mention one of the most important cards in the game, a choose the carrot card. You will put those down if you have them, you will flip, choose a carrot. It says choose a carrot, so that's just one. So I will now go through the carrot pile. Oh, there's my favorite Presto. He looks fancy. So I'm going to take him. I'm going to save him to the side with my money that I somehow got back. Uh, typically that would be cheating, but because it's a demonstration, I'm just going to keep my money. So I save that. I put the carrot cards back to the side. So I flip. And I discard. I slide. Again, I draw. Oh, another choose the carrot card. And then I would replace. Now there is one other way to get carrots, uh, one main way. Um, instead of a choose the carrot card, 
remember when I said that at the market, $3 cabbage, $3 for water, there are, uh, you can spend $10 and buy a carrot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to spend $10. I'm going to buy another carrot. And I'm going to save that again to the side with my other carrot, my other money over here to the side. So that's basically it. That's how you play Killer Bunnies. You are going to have two cards down. One, two, oh, I have the carrots in my hand. You will not have those in your hand. One, two, three, four, and then just for sake, five. Five in your hand, two down, flip, play it, or discard it, slide, draw, replace. Flip, slide, draw, replace. That's the most important thing to learn in the game. Um, that's exactly how you play. Two cards down at any time. Um, pretty sure that's, that's it. If you have any questions, definitely ask them and I'll answer if I can. Have a great day.